Good morning, everyone. It's Fun Friday, so I thought we'd start at the tree again. I wanted to share the tree topper a little bit more with you. This tree topper is very special because it was on my mother's tree since she was a little tiny girl. And when I got old enough to have the tree topper, she passed it on to me. And I wanted to share it with you. I'm going to walk out to where I usually do this video because every time I turn it off today, it stops again. But I wanted to tell you about that tree topper because my grandfather, he would go cut a real tree. He would put the real tree out into the in living room that they had, and he would adorn that tree in angel hair. Now, angel hair is what those little wings were made of on that angel, and he would wrap the tree in angel hair and put candles on the end of it, and he would light the tree. The thing is that I think it got to be hard with two children that were little with the, the fire and everything, so they stopped doing it. It worked good for a while, and they loved doing it, but they came to an end, I'm sure, with little toddlers and young kids. Today, I wanted to go ahead and talk about a few more possible gifts for you. I had come up with uh, a Living DNA, again, is a, another agency out there that has DNA for you, so you might look them up to see what you can get a DNA kit sent to somebody for if that's what you'd like to do. Um, don't forget, memberships are always a wonderful thing. Maybe giving somebody a, a month or two membership is fine. You know, you can't break the bank doing it, but it gives them an opportunity to, to dive in and see if it's an interesting thing for them or not. Binders, maybe family binders with names on it and things like that. Another great gift, not a lot of money involved. And uh, one that I really love is seeing old photos come to life. I took an old photo of my great-grandfather and his son and some men sitting around a spittoon in an office. And he had to sell that office off. He had to sell the company off. It was the Aetna Insurance Company. When I found the photo, I did take and get it colorized and it's really sharp to see so that's an idea for you too um a couple of things i wanted to talk to you today a little bit uh about the angel of course but i wanted to tell you about a great genealogy story i saw it was about a woman she's in her 80s and she had given birth at the age of 18 to a baby and when she asked to hold her baby she had been informed by the hospital personnel there for some reason that her baby had died so she never got to hold her baby, not even hold it. And um, because she had placed the baby up for adoption, the baby was taken away. Uh, as it turned out, the baby grew up and did come looking for the mother. And it just so happened that all of the mother's remaining family, other than this baby, had uh, passed. So the mother and the daughter were reunited recently. And I just think it's a great story. And another way to show you just how DNA can affect a relationship for somebody. This woman would have gone to her grave thinking that she had given birth to a baby who passed away, not knowing that she was out there and she was looking for her mother. Now, of course, that's not always going to be the case. We know there are a lot of circumstances in life that prevent people from moving past that. But there's a whole, I feel like there's a whole lot of people that always have that question and would like an answer. So that was a great story. I just wanted to share that with you today. I was going to sing a song, but I'm going to wait. I'm still not feeling super sharp. Um, I wanted to remind you it's a stressful time of year. Please be good to yourself. Take a little downtime. Have a date night still with your sweetheart. Turn off the phone a minute. Go eat some dinner and look at each other and take a breath. Uh, do your shopping. Get the things you want to do for your families. But don't stress yourself out too much. It's super stressful. A lot of things happening. Want to remind you to watch your children, take good care of them, keep them safe and near you. It only takes a second for somebody to devastate your life, and we certainly don't want that happening. Um, remember, your blood calls you. You go find it. I am nativebyheartart.com. Native by Heart Art by Sean Shelton. If you go over to YouTube, you can look the videos up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do that. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you, and um, I'd like to help you if you have a question or try to get you in the right direction. I'm really grateful for this time of year. I'm grateful for the year all around, but the joy and the, a lot, the lights and the, I don't know, just the spirit of Christmas is a beautiful time of year, and whatever your belief system is that, you know, somebody came into our life and 
ultimately, you guys, just like my picture of the origins, I wanted to tell you about that a little bit too. I know this is what she's looking like right now, but literally in my mind when I first sketched her out on paper, this is how it started. I just drew a picture, I put up the fleur de lis behind her, and it evolved into what it is right now. Don't be hard on yourself. Start out somewhere. Start something. Put it down on paper and then start putting it on canvas for yourself, and it'll come to evolve as it goes on. You guys have a wonderful day. Be safe out there, and I'll talk to you real soon, okay? Take care.